Is your home ready for the holidays? Don't worry, I have five easy tips to help you get your home ready for the holidays. Hi, I'm Jessica and I am The Organized Mama. I help families just like you with organizing tips, tricks, and tutorials. In this video, I'm going to tell you five spaces of your home that you need to get organized before the holidays, plus tricks to getting that space organized. Space number one is your kitchen. This is a time of year when there is just a ton of food, a ton of baking and cooking and all of the things going on in the kitchen. So I really want you to get your kitchen organized for the holidays. To do this, I want you to start with your pantry. Go through everything and make sure you don't have any expired food hanging out in there. It would be the worst thing in the world if you're like ready to bake and you find out that you have some you know, items that might be like expired or moldy. So make sure you go through all of that, make a list of all the things that you need to get at the grocery store and then you'll be set and prepped for when it comes time to baking those delicious gingerbread cookies. Another easy trick to get organized in the kitchen is to swap out summer cooking things for winter baking things. Okay, so what I mean by that is in the summer you probably grill a lot, right? So you have all of your grilling items and you want them to be easy and accessible so you keep them in the front of a cabinet or in a drawer. Well, you're really not gonna be grilling all that much in the winter, right? So instead, you can replace the grilling items in your cabinets or in your drawers for baking items. Just easily swap them out. If you have deeper drawers or deeper cabinets, this is the time when we usually pull the baking items to the front and put the grilling items in the back. And then around spring, you just kind of flip-flop them. That way you don't lose anything in the back of those cabinets or have anything lost like deep in those drawers. The second space to get organized before the holiday season is your living room. Go through all of your books and your shelves and all of your decor that's out in your living room. Typically, you clear off a lot of the space so that you can put up your seasonal decor. So my easy trick to do during this time is as you're pulling items off your shelf, decide if you actually want to keep them or not. If you're like, oh, you know, I don't know if I really love this little tchotchke, then maybe it's time to donate. Also, go through toys. You know your kids are going to be getting a ton of toys. It is a great time to go through and kind of scale back. We are huge believers in minimal toy situation. What I mean by minimal toys is really not having a lot of different categories of toys. I really try and keep it streamlined. If you streamline things into keeping only a few categories of toys, your kids will be able to play with more of their toys because they can find it and they know what you have. When you get that, I don't know what to do. I don't have anything to play with. It's your kids telling you that they are overwhelmed with the amount of choices that they have. Think about it. When you have too many choices, do you not know where to start or what to do? It's the same with your kids. The third space that you need to declutter before the holidays is your closet. Start with clothing. If you don't love it, if you're not going to wear it, if you haven't worn it, get rid of it. There are going to be a ton of parties and events and you're going to want to showcase yourself in your best light. You're going to want to feel good about yourself. So make sure that the clothes you have in your closet are things that you like to wear. If you have to, try on outfits. If it doesn't make you feel like, then don't keep it. I mean, life is just too short to wear something that you don't feel like party on. <laughs> My general rule of thumb is two towels per member that lives in your house. Then about two to four sets of towels for guests. As for bedding, make sure that you have two sets of sheets per bed. So your bed that you sleep in, your kids' beds, should all have two sets of sheets. If you have a blow-up mattress or pull-out couch, then also make sure you have sheets for those as well. And then go through all of your medicine in either your medicine cabinet or your linen closet to make sure that everything is up to date. 
this is the time of year when all these companies send you all the catalogs and your kids come home with like all the papers and it can get super overwhelming. They can take over your kitchen counters. So as the catalogs come in, you're going to need an action plan with what to do with them. Are you going to read them or are you going to recycle them? Make up your mind right away. If you keep all of your mail on your kitchen counter, I would suggest getting a tray or a bin just to collect them all so it's not spread out all over your counter. As for your kids, artwork and projects and everything that's coming home, create a system for them. I like to recommend something near where their backpacks are. That way they are responsible for emptying out their backpacks. Really, no matter what age, this is a great skill to teach them. There are going to be a lot of events and a lot of things happening, so you will want to make sure that your calendar is up to date. I personally like a paper and pencil planner, but I know that sometimes it's easier using a um, calendar on your phone. Whatever it is, stick with one type of calendar and keep that to date for all your events. That way you won't miss anything. But also, my trick for you is to include some me time. That's just time when you get to decompress. The holidays can be super stressful and you need to make sure that you schedule in time for yourself too so that you don't feel all of that scheduling clutter that can easily happen throughout the holiday season. If you like what you saw, give this a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'm so excited I got to partner with some of my favorite YouTubers. We created a whole video hop just for you on how to get organized for the holiday season. Head to this next video to see some incredible tips for how to get organized for the holidays.